Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. Thanks for joining me. And we're about to geek out and answer some questions from fellow boaters. So we've got a question from Dan. Dan's got an 18 foot runabout with a 60 horse outboard engine. All right, big rib. Dan goes on to say, I've just installed a new star battery and a separate house battery for downriggers. Okay, good for you. Not all of us as uh, boat owners of ribs have separate house and engine but strongly, strongly encourage all of you to actually have dedicated engine and house batteries, even on a rib. On my rib, I've done that as well. Very important so that you can always start your engine and that your loads on your engine battery as you're idling um, do not exceed uh, over time the capacity of the battery and the output of the alternator, which could happen, and this is, by the way, a real threat. This is not fear-mongering. It does happen that people that troll their engines for long periods of time actually end up killing their battery while their engine is running because the loads on the battery exceed the output of the alternator at low RPM, i.e. trolling. All right. So uh, Dan keeps going and he says the outboard charges the start battery. Makes sense? Because it should start the start the engine battery. I have also a 100 watt solar panel to charge the house battery. Smart. Um, I installed a Blue Seas battery combiners, which is called an ACR, automatic combiner relay, so that the outboard charges the starter battery. And when the starter is relatively full, the outboard also charges the house. Okay. All right. So that's the setup. And the question is, uh, if the solar charges the house and it's really sunny, is the battery combiner capable of also charging the starter? The short answer is yes. Battery combiners, for the most part, are bi-directional. What does bi-directional mean? Well, it means that you can literally have an engine battery and a house battery, and the ACR is right in the middle. So imagine my face is the ACR. So in between the engine and the house battery, the ACR is going to measure voltage on either. And it really doesn't matter if the engine battery has a high uh charging voltage, so let's say 14 volts, then the ACR will engage. But also, if the house battery has a charging voltage, let's say 13.8 because of solar panels, that battery combiner, the ACR, will also engage and actually share that charging voltage with your engine battery. So there are such a thing as a directional battery char uh, battery combiner, meaning that only one battery can trigger the ACR or the battery combiner, but in most cases, and I would mean 90%, 95 or higher of all installations, battery combiners are bi-directional, meaning the current not only goes from one way to the other, but can go the other way as well. So remember, the battery combiner will trigger at what it considers a charging voltage. So for example, if uh, it's a 12 volt battery, a charging voltage is around 13.3. So it's important to note here that the battery combiner or the ACR doesn't wait until the engine battery is completely full to start sharing. No, it doesn't. It doesn't wait. There's no calculation. There's no intelligence in this device. It's not Star Trek, not yet. What it does is it measures a charging voltage and it assumes, and it's generally an okay assumption to assume that by the time the chart, one of the batteries has 13.3 volts, and it could be 13.4, Whenever it senses a charging voltage that is predefined by the manufacturer, it will say times of plenty and parallel both the engine and the house and have that single charge charge both. So that's why when you actually have engine and house batteries that are combined with a battery combiner, an ACR, it's important to make sure that both batteries, the engine and the house battery, both are the same chemistry. Because when that battery combiner is engaged, and sharing voltage from one battery to the next, you want to make sure that either battery is meant to have the same type of charging characteristics because the battery combiner does not take what it sees, modifies it, adjusts it. All of that does not happen with a battery combiner. Battery combiner is simply a device that puts your batteries in parallel whenever it senses a charging voltage at either battery. So to answer Dan's question, as I did at the beginning, the short answer is yes, 
most of us will be able to have a battery combiner recharge an engine battery, even if the house battery gets a solar charge. And it's a great question. Thanks for asking, Dan. And for any of you that are curious about battery combiners, we have a whole section on our website just dedicated to battery combiners. And there's a lot of videos, articles that we've written just on that topic so that you too can geek out and get to understand more about your boat's electrical system. Thanks for watching. So if you're curious again, go on our website and find out more answers and solutions with this sort of setup. And thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for listening and tuning in.